Instead of skiing to the North Pole from Canada later this year, as he was planning to do, he's had to change his plans. Kevin Reed reports. Back home in Coventry, Mark Wood's still recovering from his epic solo walk across the South Pole. In seven weeks, he covered 612 miles, experiencing a very cold and at times lonely planet. The isolation during the day was, was very, very tough, uh, combined with the distance to travel. Um, you really have to live for the, the moment um, and, and just take every day as it comes. Mark had no human contact for 50 days, filming himself with a camera on the end of a large pole. And he spent Christmas Day in his tent, letting his imagination run wild on this audio blog. Hello? Ho, ho, ho! My word, it's Father Christmas! I had a visit from Father Christmas in my, in my tent or my mind, if you like. And I did a sort of, um, I pretended that he came and visited me on my own in the tent. Now, being away so long means Mark's probably got the sparsest fridge in town, but there is one particular souvenir from the South Pole that he's keeping in here. He collected Antarctic water by thawing snow into his flask and hopes to do the same in the Arctic. He's setting off for that leg of his epic journey in a few weeks' time. It's a harsher place than the South because it's all water and ice, and he recently decided to travel outwards from the Pole rather than towards it to take advantage of the natural ice flow. He'll also be prepared for the added risk of polar bears. I'm fully aware that it's the bear's environment and the last thing I want to do is put a bear down, but if a bear did come at me to attack me for whatever reason, then you need the last line of defence, so I do carry a shotgun with me. Mark's received many letters of support, including this one from the Prime Minister, and his North Pole adventure begins in mid-March. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry.